How you doing? I'm Kevin O'Hara for AlcoholMastery.com. Today's one is just a short one. It's just based around um, a saying by Buddha, which is no one saves us but ourselves. Now, I, I'm not a big religious fan. You know, I always say this, uh, whenever I, I quote religious leaders or, you know, um, philosophical leaders, I think Buddha could be placed in. But a lot of his teachings were based around the power of yourself, right? The power of yourself in every walk of life, right? Um, that you should only be really be influenced by yourself, that you should only value your own opinion most of all, right? At the top of everything else, um, your opinion should come out on top. And we're the only ones who can change our mind, who can change our state of mind, who can change our perceptions, our frames that we look on life as. Um, you know, when, when I started out with quitting drinking alcohol, my frame of looking at the world according to, you know, where I was at that time was that I was an alcoholic and that my alcoholism was affecting uh, people around me, it was affecting my business, it was affecting my life in general, you know, and my life in general was going downhill, right? Now, I think everything about that statement is true except for the alcoholism bit, right? It was my behavior, it was the behavior of drinking the alcohol which was causing all the problems, right? And even though I might have thought, well, you know, this alcohol thing, this alcoholism thing is something that is, um, is beyond me and I have to try and get control of it and get control of my alcohol drinking. Um, it was, it had eluded me for a long time because I was under the mistaken uh, identity of being a drinker, right? And when I'm under that identity, right, when I think about myself as a drinker, then I don't think of my of the alcohol as being a part of the problem, right? I think about me as being the problem and not the alcohol, right? So if the alcohol is not the problem and I'm the problem, then I have to cut down on the alcohol use and moderate the alcohol use. But as I know, and as many other people know, this is a virtual impossible task to achieve because of who we are as drinkers and what alcohol is as a drug, right? But at the end of the day, it doesn't make any difference because you're giving your power over to something else, right? You're giving your power over to this inert liquid in a bottle. You're giving your power over to a label, right? Alcoholic or a label, sober, right? Um, you're giving your power off over to other people who are saying, this is the way alcohol is. This is the way alcoholics are. And this is the way you are always going to be in your life, right? You're always going to have this disease. You're always going to have this genetic defect. And you're always going to have this alcohol presence in your life, right? That is giving away your power, right? And that, I think, for, for this sentence, no one saves us but ourselves. That's the most important part of it, right? Is that you can damn yourself by giving your power across to somebody else and thinking that somebody else is going to save you because they're not, right? You are the only one who can possibly save you in this situation, at least. And nobody can take the action but you. Nobody can stop putting the stuff in your mouth but you. Nobody can quit drinking but you, right? Nobody can move on and get you the life that you want to live but you. So I'll leave it there for today. Uh, I'm Kevin O'Hara for AlcoholMastery.com. I hope you got something out of that. Uh, stay safe, keep the alcohol out of your mouth, and until next time, uh, onwards and upwards. Take care. Bye now.